You're going to love this simply perfect combination of sweet potatoes and toast. The first one is super easy and fast. The second one's a little extra work, but both are delicious. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be festive and celebrate uh, Christmas, of course, and uh, Christmas Vacation, which is my absolute favorite movie. And we're gonna call this Cousin Eddie's Sweet Potato Toast. This is gonna to be fantastic. I'm gonna make it two different ways and our ingredients are pretty simple. There's sweet potatoes, we got some chopped nuts, we've got some marshmallows, uh, obviously brown sugar, bread, and cinnamon. That's it for ingredients, but I'm gonna cook the potatoes two different ways. That's the difference between the first version and the second version. It's gonna go on toast, and this is unbelievably tasty. This would be a great Christmas morning dish. So first we're gonna cut these in about, probably a half inch and I'm gonna do these in circles and just leave them like this you could cut them up if you wanted to cook them up faster you could cut them in chunks I don't because I'm gonna put I'm gonna put half of these in the oven and that's gonna be the difference so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a pot I'm gonna boil these along with a couple other potatoes <clears throat> okay I'm gonna put I've got the potatoes cut I'm gonna put some brown sugar in and I'm gonna put in a cup and this is with three three sweet potatoes I'm going to put in about at least a half a stick on this one here I've got I've actually started this so that it'll cook a little bit faster um, so I'm gonna I probably would put a whole stick of butter in here and let that cook okay we've cooked these for about 20 minutes and they're ready to go. I'm gonna put half of these in a skillet. You can do any kind, you can do a chafing dish, whatever you want, that's fine. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. And then the other ones I'm gonna make the first kind of toast with is just gonna be mashed with a little bit of this juice, a little more brown sugar, and some cinnamon. And I'm essentially gonna lay these flat in the skillet. And don't cook these too much so that they, they start breaking. All right, one more is going to be fine. And then I'm going to put some of this juice in here. And I'm going to leave the rest of the juice in the pan to mix up with the first ones we make. And we'll just, we're just going to mash these. That's why this is easier. All right, this is going in the oven, 350. So I'm just going to mash these with a little bit of that juice in there. So we're going to put... Now, you could put butter on this toast and it'd be just fine. And you want it all over. And it's already got some brown sugar and the butter in it because it cooked with a lot. All right, that's good right there. We're gonna just put a little bit of brown sugar on both these. These are walnuts, by the way. These been toasted almost too long, it looks like. <laughs> All right, and a little bit of cinnamon. A lot of folks probably don't realize this, but sweet potatoes were actually cultivated and eaten way before white potatoes were a common dish. The earliest written record of cultivation of sweet potatoes goes back to 750 BCE in Peru. But there are archeological discoveries that go way back, some say to 2500 BC, and others say as far back as 5000 BCE. At the time of Christopher Columbus in the late 15th century, sweet potatoes were already in Central and South America. Early on, the sweet potato was considered an aphrodisiac, quote, procuring bodily lust, which may be the reason why sweet potatoes were popular with the upper classes in the 16th century in England. We're just making this dish because it's perfect on toast and tastes great. Come try this. Tell me that ain't right. How you like my shirt? I like your shirt. Cousin Eddie's RV maintenance. In the spirit of all things. In the spirit of all things, Cousin Eddie. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Mm. I'll show you what. Mm. Christmas morning, mm. that's delicious. All right, these were completely cooked before I put them in here. And I went with the broiler rather than the oven because I wanted to put a little bit of a crisp on them. 
little bit of caramelization on them. And this is gonna make all the difference in the world. Oh, look at that. See, the texture's already different. This is just pure deliciousness right here. This is worth the extra time. All right, this, this is gonna be completely, ridiculously delicious. Ah, look at that. Tell me that ain't right. Listen, if you have never been in a diabetic coma, you're gonna be in one. All right, a little bit of cinnamon. This would be perfect without the marshmallows. But it's perfect or with the marshmallows. It's perfect or with the marshmallows. I don't know. If did you see me catch that? Did you see that? Maybe we're gonna toast them. Oh man. Hold on. We're we're gonna toast them. I need to have eyebrows when you're done with this. Oh, didn't even need to do it. It just decided to work. Got to hit it from a couple angles here. Oh, I can smell, can you smell the marshmallows? There we are. That's perfect. You know, that metal plate and all. <laughs> no, you take the first bite. Oh, no, you. Ah. Uh, mm, I'll tell you what. It is worth the time to put it in the oven. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Mm -mm. That's ridiculously <laughs> good. This is, this is so funny because this is so stupid. But this is so stupidly good. Am I wrong? You are not wrong. Hey, if you enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, comment, send a photo of something you've made from one of my videos. I'll probably put it on. And I'll see you next time on My Wife Can't Speak. <laughs> on Lawyer in the Kitchen. Merry Christmas.